speaker of this session is going to be Kei Takata, and what he will be doing is sharing with you a novel evaluation function for, for a hex play, making use of network characteristics and support vector learning for improved decisions. Thank you. Thank you. University. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, computer hacks uh, based on the novel evaluation function and uh, change the strategy depending on the world states. <coughs> uh, hacks is a board game for two player, and uh, the game proceeds like this. The winner is uh, <coughs> connecting the two opposite sides by their pieces, and uh, there are two main approaches for developing computer hacks, Minimax and Monte Carlo research. And uh, our proposed method, called ESO, is uh, based on minimax and the user version function. And uh, usually in hex, both states are regarded as a network for evaluating both states. Uh, in the classical research for evaluation function of hex, uh, there is a shunner to select model. <laughs> this evaluation function is calculated to the total resistance between two sides of the player. <coughs> And uh, it is effective and popular method that uh, changes the strategy at a certain timing uh, in, in the game. So we think it is uh, effective in hex too, but uh, this evaluation function is difficult to the, to change the strategy at the, because it is consistent of only one element. So the objective of our study. Uh, we propose a novel evaluation function consisted of, consisted of two elements, uh, global and local variations. And we change the strategy at uh, depending on both states uh, use uh, machine learning. This is a drawing of my presentation. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about how to create a board network for evaluating both states. And uh, next, about uh, our proposed evaluation function. And the last, the changing strategy method using machine learning. Uh, board states of hex can be expressed as a <coughs> board network for each player. And uh, we treat the uh, nodes on the two sides as a node. Uh, this is a side node. And uh, connecting adjacent nodes as a ring. As a ring. And uh, in order to consider the in the future board states for evaluating, uh, we use an idea of virtual connection. I use an algorithm of uh, a coordinate search and some pattern matches for creating virtual connection. Uh, well, <coughs> I'll talk about uh, our proposed methods. Uh, to have the wide strategy on the board, uh, we consider the the variety of paths between any two nodes. The path between any two nodes is this. Uh, we think if there are many paths uh, between any two nodes, it is a, uh, uh, there is a variety of strategy is existing. And uh, the objective of hex is connecting two sides. So we, it is important to consider the shortest path between two sides. So we evaluate the global evaluation uh, by the uh, using the uh, board network and the local variations uh, using the uh, shortest path network between two sides. I'll talk about two evaluations in detail. Uh, about the global evaluations, we use the average of between centrality for uh, to evaluate the global strategy. Uh, between centrality is uh, network characteristics and uh, it is calculated the variety of paths between the two nodes. And uh, an example of a high value of the average of between centrality is, is this. It is characterized by the some nodes, uh, high, some <coughs> high centrality nodes. It is a bad state because the uh, uh, player must plan the strategy include these, these nodes. It, is, it cannot be said that there is a the right strategy. So high value. Low value of the average of between centrality is a good state because there are many paths on the board. 
And next is uh, about local strategy. Uh, we use the max of contribution between two sides. Uh, in the shortest pass network, if there is a node uh, to be related to all passes, it is a bad state because uh, all passes are lost if if opponent <coughs> player put pieces on this. But the low value of the max of contribution is a good thing. <coughs> there is a variety of paths between two sides. Uh, eventually, uh, our proposed evaluation function is this. Uh, C is a global evaluation, and the C dash is local evaluation. Uh, when alpha is zero, and uh, alpha is a constant parameter to use to adjust the weight of global and local evaluations. And uh, when alpha is zero, it means only global evaluations, and when alpha is one, it means only local evaluations. So we change the strategy by changing the value of alpha, depending on the border states. <coughs> now, uh, we, we verify the effectiveness of our uh, proposed evaluation function, uh, fix the alpha during the game, and uh, difference by alpha. Uh, we use uh, 11 by 11 border sites. <coughs> uh, pro our proposed method to use it to play alpha beta search and uh, fix alpha during the game. And the opponent play as uh, world champion, Amo um, Hex, uh, 2011 version. And the uh, game judgment was performed, uh, DF by, performed by DFPL search after every moves. And uh, we don't consider the swap rule. Uh, this figure from the different Dependence are uh, winning percentage and alpha. Uh, the important point to note is uh, <coughs> only global, uh, which means uh, the Brazil, and only local is uh, not a high winning percentage. So the mixing the global and local operations is uh, good. Uh, good. And the best alpha, uh, best value of alpha, when alpha is fixed, uh, is this. And uh, this value is a low value, so if the evaluating the global strategy more than local strat local evaluation is good when alpha is fixed. But uh, it can be said uh, it is a high winning percentage, so to improve our method, uh, we change the strategy depending on the policy states. Uh, the best alpha was the low values uh, when alpha is fixed, but the to improve our method, uh, we think increasing the alpha is effective in the later part of matches. Uh, because the victory of hex is uh, connecting two sides, so the local evaluation becomes the most important. So we change the low, uh, high alpha, change to the high alpha uh, in the later part of matches. And uh, to decide the timing, uh, we use support vector machine. It's a uh, machine learning. Uh, in order to show that the uh, high value of alpha was, was effective in the later part of matches, uh, we got, uh, we prepare the, uh, sorry, uh, we compare the winning percentage of evaluation function with the high and low values of alpha. Uh, we prepare the both states uh, appear, uh, which appeared in previous experiments. So fix the alpha played against Mohex. Uh, uh, we tested the uh, match from the bo same both states uh, 10 times, like this. And uh, the high value of alpha was set to 0 0.5 and the low the value of low value of alpha was set to the best parameter when alpha is fixed. And the result is this. Uh, this figure shows the difference, the number of wins, the number of wins obtained by using low alpha and the high alpha. The plot of high value means that uh, it can win the game only by increasing alpha and the, low, the plot of low values, it means uh, 
can it could win the game only by go alpha. And uh, we could we 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 can uh, I I can see the in the later part of matches uh, the value of high value is uh, uh, there is uh, some states uh, high increasing alpha is in effective and the uh, beginning of the matches there are some states uh, low value of alpha is effective so it is clear that uh, in the later <laughs> part of matches increasing alpha is, can be effective but uh, there are some states uh, if we increase the alpha in inappropriate time is uh, can be bad so we should the timing <coughs> of the appropriate time appropriate time to change to the strategy uh, to decide the timing uh, we created two, two classifiers for each player whether we change the value of alpha or not uh, in order to capture features of the board states uh, we use 12 dimensional vectors consisting of these network characteristics and the uh, number of terrain data is this and uh, we assign the positive label and negative label uh, positive label means that uh, we should change the increasing uh, uh, we should uh, increase the value of alpha and negative label means uh, we should keep alpha keep alpha no, keep uh, at low alpha so finally the percentage of correct answer to the train data is uh, this it shows that the uh, classifiers cannot increase the value of alpha in the case of increasing alpha is can be bad uh, well then, uh, I'll talk about experiments uh, we compare as of to the fixed alpha for comparing <coughs> Changing strategy is effective, and uh, we compare the ESO to work for comparing the our proposed evasion function <coughs> to channel to select model. I uh, experiment condition is same as uh, previous experiment and uh, experiment, and the ESO <coughs> used to write a bit such and uh, the value of alpha began at row alpha, uh, the best parameter when alpha is fixed, and uh, the if classifier put the high alpha, we change to the high alpha. And uh, following this, we keep constant the high value of alpha. This table shows the winning pattern stage for each computer hex uh, against more hex. Uh, first player and uh, for the second player. As you can get the highest winning pattern stage for the first player. And the uh, ESO changing the strategy increases the winning percentage um, by comparing the <coughs> fixed alpha. And uh, about ESO, the number of games ch where alpha changed was 19 for the first player and 9 for the second player. And uh, ESO could win the game in, in most games alpha changed. And the, it, the important point too is this uh, if if ESO could not increase the alpha, uh, ESO can get the about 94% uh, winning percentage. Uh, we compare this this one and uh, this one. Uh, ESO could uh, get the high winning percentage. So it is clear uh, that uh, ESO can win the game that it is lost if alpha is not changed. <laughs> Uh, as a changing strategy can get the higher winning percentage, so this means that classifier can could probably recognize the ball states and uh, decide when alpha is fixed. And but uh, about uh, as com com about comparing as to world, for the first player as can better than winning percentage of world, but uh, for the second player as could not get the higher winning percentage. So. As a reason for that, uh, uh, we think uh, our proposed evaluation function is weak to the second stra player strategy. And, uh, <coughs> it is known that the first player has a winning <coughs> strategy on, 
in hex, and uh, we don't consider the swap rule in, in this case. So the first player could, the game, could win the game uh, unless mis um, making mistakes. So the second player must take moves to induce mistakes from the second <coughs> first player. So maybe our proposed method is difficult to the take strong strategy in the second, for the second player. In conclusion, uh, this study proposed a novel evaluation, novel evaluation function using network characteristics, global and local evaluations. And uh, we use machine learning for deciding the timing of changing the strategy, changing the strategy. And for experiments, it shows that uh, changing strategy is effective in hacks. So yes, so that's all my presentation. Thank you. Question. The electrical approach was introduced, as I well know, by Anso Jevic, yes? And at that time, when he introduced it, we, and probably also even Ryan, thought that if we study that technique and we enrich it, probably this can be the clue to solve the game. So, uh, we prove a winning strategy from the beginning, yes? That is what we thought. At that time, at least what some of us thought, and uh, now it turned out not to be the case. Have you found uh, specific positions where you can prove that, um, I would say, the Monte Carlo move is definitely better? Not that the result of the gag is better, that I understand, yes, but that there are also, if you find new moves, and that you then try to find the theory why that move is better. Yes, sorry. <coughs> Do you understand my question? <laughs> sorry, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I can't repeat it, but also, Ryan, do you understand my question? We want to know if there are positions where one of these models works better than the other? Yes, yes. Exact purpose. Yes, yeah. that is my question indeed, yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, I understand, yes. <laughs> but then, my next question no, of no easy <laughs> Yes, that's not easy, I understand, yes. Yes. But I, I have another question. Um, can you say something about the first moves that your programs would typically make in these experiments? So if, if they play from the empty board, do they always tend to play in the same place or mostly in the middle? So you, in your experiments, you do not use the swap rule. Yes. So what moves do they tend to make as their first move? Ah, uh, it's a... Uh, from the first play, from the first move, mm -hmm. each player starts a search from the initial board. 
but what what moves do they what is the usual first move? Is it random or do they choose one? No, uh, each pre each player decides on first move. Well, and and which move do, does Izo, which move does it like as its first move? Izo, right? So uh, so each player starts the search for the initial board state so that uh, so in initial initial move is a position, you see? Does it start in the side, in the corner, or always near the center? Uh, I would, uh, you and Bateman, so it is different for, for alpha. It is different, but the best alpha is uh, uh, the I3. <coughs> I3. Okay, I3. Okay, thank you. Why is the best? Why is the best? You said the best is I3. And I'll I I simply ask for the reason why you going that being the best. So I I I think uh, I, I I don't know that I three is the best, but I, my program uh, thinks the best. Right, uh, <laughs> I think. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I three is on the main diagonal. Yes. Three away from the corner. Yeah. And Monte Carlo often prefers on the main diagonal two away from the corner. Sometimes programs prefer in the middle. <coughs> and what do humans prefer? Humans like the middle. I'm not saying that you are not a human, but what <laughs> do you prefer? <laughs> I mean, excuse me, but uh, <laughs> sorry. I, I don't think much. My programs are way stronger than that. So. Okay, okay. I'll just tell you some industrial logic. Yes, now. yes. <laughs> Other questions? Okay, thank, thank you. you.